So uh, there's a really cool result by Kimberling and Moses called permutation ellipsis uh, from uh, 2020. The result is the following. If you take a triangle ABC and you elect some point in, on its plane whose barycentric coordinates are P, Q, and R, if you permute these barycentric coordinates, you can get five new points. It turns out that these six points lie on the same ellipse, called the permutation ellipse, and the center of that ellipse is the body, -centric or body center of ABC. Okay? Uh, I built a GeoGebra simulation uh, for uh, this property, this really beautiful property. And namely, what I'm doing here is I have a triangle ABC in blue. I'm also showing it's in circle and circumcircle in uh, dashed blue. And I just selected a point P, right? And what I'm doing here behind the scenes on the left side is I'm computing the body, center, body centrics of P, permuting them in those five uh, ways that are available to us. And then I'm just uh, converting them back to Cartesian coordinates and displaying them here as P2 through P6. Now, as it turns out, it does uh, seem like P and the five permutations of P lie on the same, in this case, magenta conic. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And you can see here that, as predicted in the paper, um, the major axis of this conic is always the same line and it passes through x2 and x1341 amongst other points in Kimberly's list. Now the small observation that I want to make here is that let's assume now I'm going to affix P to the circumcircle. So I'm going to say attach, so I'm going to attach P to the circumcircle, right? So now I want to analyze what's happening to this family of permutation uh, ellipses as defined by Kimberly and Moses. And specifically, I want to see what's happening. By the way, uh, regardless of where P is, the eccentricity of all, of all permutation ellipses is fixed. It's constant. Okay, So this is a very constrained set of, uh, of ellipses. Okay, so um, what I want to study here in this video is what is the locus of each one of these points for P on the circumcircle. So I can use the locus tool in GeoGebra. For example, I'm going to elect P4, one of, this, uh, one of the permutations, and I'm just going to click here, click on P, and see what that locus looks like. And the pleasing result of course, I don't have a proof for that, is that over P on the circumcircle, the locus of, in this case, P4, is a circumellipse. How cool is that? Okay. Now, if I repeat the same <coughs> locus construction for the other five points, uh, sorry, the other four points, because there's going to be a total of five, you get five circumellipses. So, for P on the circumcircle, you get five circumellipses. Let me get rid of this uh, vestigial stuff here. So let's observe this. P is riding on the circumcircle, and those five permutations of P, which are conconic on the magenta conic, okay, they will sweep out five independent circumellipses. Okay. So we got a couple of results here to prove. So if I move C, uh, so I change the shape of my triangle, I change the orientation of these circumellipses. Okay. So a couple of things we could ask here are, let's go back to the other simulation. Here's just a single circumellipse. We know that the pre-image of the circle, so oh, let me say it this way, the isogonal um, image of this circumellipse, of a circumellipse with respect to a triangle is a line that does not intersect the circumcircle. So what is the isogonal pre-image of these five circumellipses? So I have five, right? With respect to ABC. Do they have any interesting property? Um, haven't investigated that. A second question we may ask here is, are there any geometric properties uh, with respect to the foci of these five circumellipses? Uh, another thing you'll notice 
Oh, and the centers, of course, right? So where are the centers of these five circum ellipses? Uh, I haven't investigated that. But another thing you'll notice here is that there's two positions for P. Here's the first one, eyeballing, where the five circum ellipses are tangent to the permutation ellipse. So here's one position for P where this happens, and there's a second position for P, more or less antipodal to the first one, where the other vertices of the five circum ellipses are now tangent to the magenta permutation ellipse. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.